If you're new, I'm Alexa and my channel focuses on curly hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Bumble and Bumble Curl line. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me throughout the course of almost two weeks just to show you the different ways that I did try these products, share with you my honest opinions because some things didn't go as planned and I probably had to wash my hair in less than 24 hours in one of these routines. So I will be taking you guys back to the first day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey guys, so right now this is day one. I just came out of the shower. As you guys can tell, I am literally all wet. And I washed my hair in the shower with the Bumble and Bumble Moisturizing Shampoo. I've actually used this shampoo a few times and I need to say that I really do enjoy this. I do think it is a really moisturizing shampoo. It's super thick and creamy and I just love how it feels on my scalp. Oftentimes with certain shampoos, I feel like it's really hard for me to like feel like it's moisturized just when I'm scrubbing and just to feel like it's like spreading on my scalp since my hair is super high dense and coarse and I just really really like this shampoo it honestly feels almost like a buttery shampoo to me so what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be using the butter mask from bumble and bumble i've actually used this once already and i feel like i didn't have like a great experience with it i feel like it wasn't a buttery mask i feel like it was just okay but i did have like a really like bad like my hair was all tangled when i first used this um butter mask so right now my hair is isn't super tangled i'm not having a super bad like start to my wash day so i'm hoping that i will like this better so this hair mask does say that it's deep moisture treatment for soft frizz free curls and it says this rich moisturizing mask gives springy new life to limp curls even once flattened by heat tools and over styling and after using curl moisturizing shampoo apply to damp hair leave on for five, three to five minutes and rinse so that's what I'm going to be doing it also does say here that you can use this as a pre poo sort of thing on dry hair before shampooing if your hair is super parched so since my hair is already washed um, my hair is a little bit damp right now I'm just going to start applying this so let's start so as you guys can see it is super thick but for some reason when I did apply this on my hair that first time it didn't feel like butter I don't know if I was having a really bad wash day but let's try this again I decided to section my hair to apply the mask and as you guys can see to me this doesn't look buttery it doesn't feel buttery I feel like I do have other masks that are um, less expensive than this one and they make my hair feel really really silky so this mask does have some ingredients like avocado oil has coconut oil jojoba oil and it does not have any protein from what I see so yeah I was just applying this all over my hair brushing it through just to make sure that my hair is saturated and another cool thing that I see about this mask is that you can apply it as a pre poo before you shampoo your hair but I feel like that's something that personally I wouldn't do with this because I feel like it won't provide enough hydration or slip so I'm finally done applying the butter mask. I'm going to leave this in my hair for five minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to go in with some of their 3-in-1 conditioner after this and just rinse this out. And then I'll be back and we'll be ready to style my hair. I came out of the shower and I rinsed out the butter mask and I feel like I feel the same way about the butter mask. It is really pricey. It's $43. So personally, I don't think it's something that I'll buy. I think there's cheaper hair mask or deep conditioners out in the market that actually you know like feel like butter and really saturate my hair after the butter mask i just felt like i needed a conditioner 
just to have my hair feeling really saturated so i went in with their three-in-one conditioner which i really did enjoy honestly to me this feels more like a deep conditioner than the butter mask it had slip i didn't have to use a lot it made my hair feel really really silky and super moisturized and this also does have hydrolyzed wheat protein and it has hydrolyzed vegetable protein and other moisturizing ingredients it also does have dimethicone in it for those of you that don't really like using silicones and things like that in your hair as you guys can see my hair looked really moisturized i feel like i didn't really have frizz in my hair so i definitely love that now i'm going to be taking some of the three in one conditioner and i'm going to be using it as a leave-in because that's another way we can use this as you guys can see this is the consistency so i'm actually just putting a little bit of this on the ends of my hair as a leave-in conditioner Let's start styling of the other products, of course, saturating my hair with some water. Now I'm using the defining cream and I've used this already three other times. So I feel like I have a little bit of experience with this. This is the consistency. It's super creamy and it just makes my hair feel soft and really nice when I do put this on. I feel like I do need a good amount in order to make my curls clump. Now I'm using the mousse. So this literally turns into water. Okay, this is super interesting. Let me take a little bit more. So when I put this mousse on my hand, it literally was like super soft. I feel like I've never used a mousse like this. It literally turns into like a watery consistency really quick. So I was a little bit intrigued by this, but you know, I still put it on my hair because I really wanted to see how this works. And it kind of felt like I was putting nothing in my hair at that point. I usually do rake mousse all of the time into my hair and now i'm just using my tangle teaser after that now i'm applying the gel oil to my hair and i've used this oil already in three other routines so i do have experience with this too the only product i haven't used is the mousse as you guys can see this oil is super clear it's like a little bit oily and watery it does feel really nice when i start applying this to my hair i do notice that it does help clump my curls more and yeah it has a really nice smell i feel like all of the products in the collection so far do smell the same i feel like it has that typical kind of like pricey salon smell i don't really know how to explain it another thing that i do want to highlight about the gel oil is i feel like i need a lot i've used this about five times already and i think i have one more use of this gel oil i feel like when i do apply a little bit it doesn't really do much to my hair since my hair is super coarse and high dense so i definitely need to use so much of this <laughs> so right now this is actually the next day i did style my hair pretty late yesterday so i'm just coming to show you my hair on day two so as you guys can see like i am honestly not feeling my hair at all this was a whole new combo that i was trying out i've only tried the defining cream and the gel from bumble and bumble which i really like so adding the mousse into the mix was kind of like a little bit odd for me i didn't know what was going to happen of course when i come and show you guys like reviews my thoughts how i'm using the products i do want to show you everything that way if you can relate to my hair that you know not to do this if you do buy these products but of course i'm not going to really give you guys my final thoughts right now i'm probably going to leave this for like day five or something but yeah this is how my hair is looking like i feel like it might look okay to some people but i definitely see some like frizz also considering i use three products when i've done a combination like this with a mousse and a gel at the end i barely get 
frizz in my hair and I don't know if it translates through the camera but here in real life I can definitely see the frizz in some areas it's also like sticky also I was using some of the bread hair oil just to do like you know my usual thing that I do after styling my hair which is like scrunching out the cast which I kind of got a little slight cast and also breaking apart my curl clumps which I kind of feel like it's a little bit impossible with this routine it just feels like a little bit sticky um I was thinking this is like probably one of those situations where my hair kind of needs to drink up the product in order for me to see like the final results but I did sleep with my hair overnight and sometimes when I've done that it tends to look better the next morning like my hair drinks up more of the product so I'm just gonna let my hair be I was honestly gonna wash it but I'm gonna try to give this a chance see if it like looks better maybe I'll try to refresh these pieces with like water or something see what happens and I'll let you guys know so I'll probably be back later or tomorrow when I decide to restyle my hair again Hey guys, so right now this is actually a few days later after I recorded that last clip. It's about six days later. So I'm going to explain to y'all what happened. So an hour after recording that clip, I did decide to wash my hair because honestly, I couldn't stand that producty feeling that that whole routine gave me it kind of just made me feel like my hair was dirty so I washed it and I decided to style my hair with other products that are not from Bumble and Bumble so right now I am on like day six of a routine so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually gonna be going back to Bumble and Bumble and I'm going to be parting my hair down the middle today and we're going to be trying the gel oil on one side and then we're going to be trying the mousse on the other side and I'm going to be putting the defining cream on the bottom and it's just going to be a two product routine with different ending results for each side I'm just interested just to see how this mousse works on its own if it is going to give me that producty feeling because I have used the defining cream and the gel oil together before and I really do like the results so I feel like bringing the mousse into that mix wasn't a good idea for my hair so I'm just excited to see if if one of these products performs better than the other we're going to be going over the course of a few days maybe three or four days I'm going to come and update you on how my hair is holding up throughout these two routines see if one side lasts longer than the other so without further ado I'm gonna get in the shower I'm gonna go wash my hair with the bumble and bumble shampoo I'm also going to use their conditioner and I'm not going to use a hair mask today or anything because one honestly I do not really like that butter mask so I might use another hair mask in my hair for six minutes or I might not use anything at all and maybe leave their conditioner in for like four minutes and then I'm gonna come back and style with y'all so I'll be back I came out of the shower about 10 minutes ago I did wash my hair with the shampoo from Bumble and Bumble and I also used a three-in-one conditioner and my hair feels really moisturized I left that in my hair for about I'll say like seven minutes that's how long I left that conditioner just because I didn't really want to use a deep conditioner I didn't think my hair needed it I think my hair has a really good moisture protein balance right now so let's get started
finally dry so as y'all can see this is how the side with the gel looks like and this is how the side with the mousse looks like so i do have a few things to say that i'm noticing right off the bat so one thing that i noticed and i'm just looking back at different bumble and bumble routines that i've done including this one is that these products do not eliminate frizz a hundred percent for me i do not mind frizz i do embrace it but i do notice that it does like have some frizz every time i do style with this products compared to other routines that i've done in the past so another thing that i do want to mention is that the side of the mousse definitely has this like Producty feeling compared to the gel like I do feel this hold on the gel side But it just doesn't feel like the mousse side So I do know for sure that it was the mousse that gave me that feeling when I did combine the gel and the mousse together and I do need to say the mousse side it is not my favorite side compared to other mousses that I've shown you guys I don't really like this mousse I do not think it's worth the money I do not see myself using this mousse ever again it just looks weird definitely has more frizz than the side with the gel this side does have some frizz but not as much as this side i also feel like this side clumped up better this side the curl clumps are there but i feel like this side looks better is it just me or are you guys noticing the same thing just comment down below and let me know so what i'm gonna do right now is i do want to let my hair settle a little bit more i'm actually gonna head out i do want to see how these products are going to react outside i already do have some experience with the gel side but not with the mousse i wonder if it's gonna turn crazy or something so i'm definitely gonna come hopefully report back tomorrow let you guys know how my hair is holding up and yeah see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it's actually a few hours later and i was actually outside so i just wanted to come and show y'all my hair the same day that way y'all can like have better updates see what it looks like so this is what we're working with so far i definitely did get some frizz outside as i said earlier i noticed that these products do not eliminate frizz 100 percent so i feel like it does give me at least a frizz proof routine uh, but then again I don't really mind frizz it just gives me extra texture and volume but this side with the mousse it is so bad it is so sticky it feels like I didn't wash my hair in a year and like I went through like a snowstorm and like my hair got wet and then it just feels like I went through many things and never washed my hair so <laughs> it looks so bad and i just like to remind y'all just because a product doesn't work for me it doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you i've seen a lot of people get really great results using this mousse but then i feel like i've also seen a lot of people who don't really like this mousse um but then again i also feel like you know you need to try things yourself to see how you like it so personally this mousse so far it is something i will not buy with my own money um i definitely do like the gel more i do feel some hold and like i do have product in the gel side i know some people like routines that kind of make your hair feel like your hair has no product and i feel like i do prefer those routines sometimes but then again and I also don't mind routines that sometimes give me like a feeling that I can feel the hold and everything so just wanted to come give you an update and yeah I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow show you guys day two hair I'm going to be using their v activator spray which honestly I did use already I used it about two weeks ago I, I just wanted to test it out before filming this video and I didn't really like it I think it was okay I feel like I can get the same results by just refreshing my hair with water but I do know some people like refreshing spray so I want to show you how that works on my hair so I'll see you guys tomorrow So as y'all can see, this is the side with the mousse and this right here is the side with the gel. So, so far when I do look at myself in the mirror, I feel like both sides kind of do look the same. But then the side of the gel kind of just looks more clumped up. Both sides do have frizz if you guys can see. But the side of the gel 
to me is still a winner i don't really like this mousse one thing that i'm noticing is like i don't really have like i still have that producty feeling on the mousse side but it's like a little bit more like gone so maybe as the days go by it kind of like breaks up heart more that's what i'm assuming but i'm still not a big fan of it so what i'm going to be doing right now is i'm actually going to be refreshing my hair i'm just going to look for those pieces that need to be like revived a little bit like right here and some pieces on top and i'm going to be using some of their bb curl reactivator right here this does say this moisturizing mist revives reactivates and recharges uninspired curls on days one two and three and beyond spray throughout damp or dry hairstyle with fingers and go so that's what we're going to be doing right now this also i do notice that it does has hydrolyzed wheat protein it also has hydrolyzed vegetable protein so i feel like um with these products i am kind of putting a lot of protein into my hair because the mousse did have protein so i feel like this side does have more protein than the gel side so without further ado let's get on to refreshing my curls mm -hmm. is finally dry after refreshing so it honestly took about an hour for my hair to fully dry one thing that i'm noticing so far and i'm just taking note of is my hair kind of takes a longer time to dry with these products i don't know why but even when i was diffusing when i did style i noticed that my hair just took a really long time compared to other routines to dry so this is how my hair is looking like and i really do like it at first i was like hmm like this refreshing spray is probably not gonna do like anything crazy to my hair but it looks a little bit less frizzy a little bit more defined and also a little bit more moisturized so i am really really liking that so it's honestly pretty late it's like 2 a.m right now i'm actually gonna go head to bed i'm gonna go to sleep and i'm gonna come and show you guys my day three here tomorrow i am thinking about styling my hair tomorrow with the mousse because i feel like i want to give this boost another try and maybe scrunch it or glaze it into my hair to apply it instead of raking it to see if that changes anything i feel like sometimes the way you apply products can definitely have a big impact on how your hair feels or looks so i'll be back tomorrow hey guys so it is officially day three of this routine so this is the mousse side this is the gel side so this is how my hair is looking like so i feel like as i was like sleeping and all of that the reactivator spray soaked in really really nicely into my hair it definitely got rid of a lot of the frizz that i had and one thing that i'm noticing it kind of did make the mousse side look a little bit better and the mousse side feels a little bit better than it did like on day one and yesterday before refreshing but it still has this producty feeling that i just do not like feeling and i feel like i've said this a million times throughout this video but the gel side definitely feels like it has some hold i do notice some more volume i feel like it does have a little bit more frizz in certain areas than this side but i still love the gel side and plus it doesn't have the same feeling that the mousse gives me so i'm planning to wash my hair now i'm going to be using the mousse again for a third time so Pray for me because I hope it comes out good. I'm going to be glazing and scrunching the mousse into my hair today instead of breaking it in. Maybe that will change things. So I'm going to hop in the shower. I'm going to wash my hair and I'll be back to style with y'all. Now I came out of the shower and I decided to wash my hair with another shampoo today. I used a Not Your Mother's Curl Defining Shampoo and then I followed up with a co-wash just to give my hair some extra moisture. I don't really think my hair needed to be deep conditioned today because it does still feel really moisturized. So I'm actually going to be styling my hair with just the Bumble and Bumble Mousse but I'm going to be adding two other products that I've used with my favorite mousse which is the Pantene in the past and my results always come out so 
good. So I'm going to be using the Curl Smith Oil and Cream and the Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream. I'm going to be applying all of that and we're just going to see how my hair is going to turn out. So let's get started. As y'all can see, I'm all done applying those two products to my hair. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bumble and Bumble Mousse. I'm going to just glaze it on each side of my hair and see how that turns out. Start off with this much. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to flip. I am finally back. My hair is all dry. It's probably been three hours since I styled my hair and diffused it and all of that. So I need to say that I love how my hair looks and I kind of have a different opinion about the mousse. I know I've been saying like, oh my gosh, it's mousse throughout this whole entire video. But this is why you need to experiment with products different ways and try different product application methods because you honestly don't know how a product will work best. I never try a product once and give up on it. I use it at least two or three times. I try to apply it different ways and see how my hair likes it best. So for this mousse, it looks like glazing it and scrunching it is the way to go it definitely gave me so much hold and a lot of curl definition another thing with this mousse is i feel like it might need a really moisturizing cream maybe a leave-in personally i'm more of a mousse break kind of person if that makes sense i do love breaking my mousse i feel like that's how i get the best results and less frizz with it and just the best curl definition so i don't know i don't think i'll repurchase is this but if you do like glazing and scrunching mousse then i do recommend this product for you and now i'm just going to talk a little bit about the defining cream from bumble and bumble so i really do like this but i feel like it's not super moisturizing compared to other creams or defining products that i do have in my collection but i do enjoy this paired up with the gel it is really nice these products are really really pricey so also i do notice that i am almost out of this i feel like i have like four more uses out of this this is a 8.5 foot ounce bottle and honestly i don't see myself buying this again in the future i just think that there are less expensive defining creams and things like that out there but if you do want to try this and if you do have the funds to try it then go ahead um, because it's not a bad product. I think that there are things that are less expensive. So that's my opinion on that. Let's move on to the gel oil. So I really do like this. I feel like I am almost out of this. I seriously only have one more use out of this at I've probably used this about five times. I feel like my hair needs a lot of this product. My hair is low porosity. It's also coarse and high dense. And I feel like a little bit of this gel doesn't do much to my hair. When I'm just applying it through, I feel like my hair craves more. So this is a five fluid ounce. And I do like this. I enjoy it. I feel like it does clump up my curls really nicely. I also noticed that it doesn't make my hair as frizzy outside because it's supposed to be good for humidity but I don't feel like it prevents frizz a hundred percent as I've said and I think if you're a person that doesn't like frizz then I don't recommend this gel because I don't think it'll prevent it a hundred percent but if you don't mind some little frizz here and there this is a product that I definitely do recommend. I think that this is something that I might buy in the future. I'm not a hundred percent sure but i really did enjoy this 
So now let's move on to the butter mask. So I feel like this is honestly my least favorite product in this whole entire collection. I do not see myself using this again. I have like one more use in here. I might use it just for the sake of not wasting product. But to me, this does not feel like a butter mask. Like I said earlier on in this video, I feel like I do need to apply a lot to my hair. I feel like it doesn't give me enough moisture. But there's something weird about this product, even though it doesn't feel hydrated or buttery when I'm applying it I feel like my hair is still moisturized after I like style and everything so this is a product that I don't really like I don't think it's worth the money I feel like it kind of reminds me of the not your mother's matcha green tea apple blossom mask that's what this reminds me of the texture and everything but there's something about the not your mother's mask that does feel buttery on your hair I do not know what it is and yeah so this product I definitely don't recommend I didn't enjoy it I feel like it didn't do much for my curls so now I just want to move on to the three-in-one conditioner right here so this three-in-one conditioner is so good I definitely do recommend this I like this more than the butter mask to me this feels more like a mask it just gave me that slip to my hair it made my hair feel really soft and moisturized and I really do like this that it does have so much versatility to it you can use it as a conditioner a leave-in or a co-wash I love when products give you those options because let's say if you're going on a trip or something you're good with one product and you can use it so many ways so this product also does have some dimethicone in it so if you do not like applying silicones to your hair I don't recommend this for you but I really don't mind silicones I just don't like using them too frequently so this is something that I won't use back to back that's why I didn't use it today for this wash day and instead I went ahead and used my Curl Smith co-wash instead and this also does have some hydrolyzed vegetable protein and some hydrolyzed wheat protein and I feel like it just gave me that good boost that my hair craves of protein so this 3-in-1 conditioner, I definitely do recommend it. If you don't mind silicones and you do like something that gives your hair slip, then definitely go pick this up. Now let's move on to the BB Curl Reactivator right here. So this is interesting. I feel like when I am refreshing my hair with this, like I don't really see like much is happening. And I'm like, wow, this is going to be a fail. Like this is not going to take away the frizz or define my curls more. But I feel like this is something that I need to let sit in my hair even after I refresh. Because I did refresh with this last night. Then I went to sleep. And when I woke up the next morning, I noticed that my hair it was super moisturized and I was almost not going to wash it so I really did enjoy this I do feel like it pre-moisturizes your curls and it does re-energize them and this product does have some hydrolyzed wheat protein in it and again it has hydrolyzed vegetable protein too and it's not too far up at the beginning of the ingredient list so if you are looking for a reactivator spray if a reactivator spray is something that does help you out something that makes your routines a little bit easy then and I definitely do recommend this but then again you can always use water or something that you do have at home so now the last product that I do want to go over is the moisturizing shampoo I really do enjoy this moisturizing shampoo I find that it's super thick a little bit of it goes a long way and I really do enjoy this I don't really think it's something that I need in my collection it kind of reminds me of the not your mother's curls defining shampoo which is what I use today so if you are looking for a shampoo if you do want to try something from this bumble and bumble collection I do recommend this but then again I don't think it's something that you need in your collection I do think that there are other options out there that you don't have to spend so much money on so that's it for this video I really did enjoy filming this video for you guys I always love doing reviews I like going a little in depth into products doing a little bit of experiments seeing how things work best and it always makes me so happy when someone can like you know relate to my hair and 
that they know if a product will work for them based off of what I say. I always do hope that that does help you out, guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what other brands you guys will be interested in me reviewing because I am always down. I love reviewing products, like I said. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Bye! I don't